Okay, this is the third time I've tried to shoot this video and I keep doing something wrong, so hopefully this one will take. This is my Federal Signal Vision light bar. It's the full vision, uh, which means uh, the, uh, every pod is a smart pod, whereas the vector, the original vector, uh, there were no smart pods that they all just spun independently of each other, and the smart vector had uh, two smart pods, which means they could do specific functions other than just rotate this bar. All of the pods are smart. Um, I have this set up as close to the Las Vegas Metropolitan Police Department, who is my local uh, department, has theirs with the exception of that center red pod that you see, pod number four. Um, for Metro, that is a clear pod with an Opticom um, strobe in it. Um, obviously, I don't need that and don't really have access to one, uh, so I just put a red red lens on there, um, but that's pretty much the only difference. Um, as you can see, I've got the takedowns in two and six, um, and then on the back side, they have the amber filters um, for the rear warning. You can see that there. I'm having some issues with it. When I put it on the test bench here, it works perfectly. When I put it up on the wall, it stops working. So then I take it down to the bench, to work on it and it works fine and then back up to the wall and it stops. So this is now the third time it's been on the bench and it works fine right now. Hopefully when I put it back up on the wall it decides to work. Um, really excited. I just got the controller like a week ago, uh, maybe two weeks ago, but I needed a wiring harness. Finally got that. I've had the light bar for like a year and it's just been a paperweight because I had to find the right controller. Um, and I will put a couple myths to rest right now. Um, <clears throat> from just talking to people. My controller, this guy, is a 2.03. This guy, I don't know if you can see that, it's a 1.02 revision. And my light bar is a 1 point something. Um, everybody said they needed to be the same. They do not. They're all three separate, and um, they all work perfectly together. Also, if you can obviously see, this one was built for... Uh, uh, vision with a uh, traffic advisor and mine does not have a traffic advisor and everything worked uh, is working fine well at least when it's here um, and then for the whole phone cable question um, whether it had to be spe special or reversed or whatever this is literally a 12 foot um, phone cable from Walmart and it worked just fine what it does have to do is have four conductors the the original test one that I had uh, was only a single line, so it only had two conductors. So once I got a four conductor cable, it works beautifully. Um, so anyways, here's the controller. As you can see, I'm still missing the thumb switch. So, you know, if anybody has an extra one laying around, I'll take it. Um, but I just wanted to kind of show it off. So I'll run it through, run it through its paces here. So you have the left alley over there, which will rotate around. The left alley, right alley is this guy right here. Um, the only thing I don't like about the Vision is because it always uses the same pods for these functions, you can never have alleys and takedowns at the same time because it's the same pod. Um, so that's kind of a bummer. Um, nor could you ever have takedowns and alley or alleys and the rear warning because the or the amber warning because that's on the same pod. So kind of have to pick pick and choose your battles there. But um, you know it is what it is. It's still a cool light bar. Um, so yeah, there's that. Same same two pods do takedowns, front-facing takedowns. And what's cool about this, and I'll show you this again later, is it has these jog buttons here on either end. So I can actually jog these one step at a time. Every time I push it, oops, every time I push it, it goes to the side, or jog back the other way, or I can just hit the takedown button again, and it'll go right back to front. It also does the same thing, um, with an alley, so I can jog just one alley in any one particular direction or the other. So that's kind of cool. Um, <clears throat> another function I have is a f full flood, so it's all seven pods, steady on, front facing, and if you can see when you get down to the level here, it's pretty freaking bright. Um, so uh, it's a great takedown tool. They, uh, Metro uses these every once in a while for high-risk car stops or felony car stops. And it's the same thing with e even with the, all seven of these. You can jog those so all seven of them will roll around. And you can kind of see the hot spot there. 
and we'll roll it all the way around to the back for pretty colors. Um, but it's it's pretty well focused. I mean, you see they're pr pretty close together. So that's kind of a cool feature. Um, another feature I have is the center out flash pattern. Um, this light bar has like 40 or so flash patterns that you can pick from and assign to these buttons. My my conundrum was because I'm mounting this on a wall, not an actual vehicle, I wanted to find some cool ones that were front facing because anything rear facing kind of gets lost on the wall. So this is kind of a cool center out um, in lieu of, of a uh, real traffic advisor because I could do that and also have it, you know, jog, again, jog the whole thing backwards. Oh, just kidding, I can't. But there is a rear-facing version of this, so you can essentially turn the whole light bar in, into a traffic advisor, and it does uh, left, center out, and right. So that's kind of a cool thing. <clears throat> and then, and as you can see, it resets, its, rehomes itself after you turn off any function. And then I do have this alternating pattern um, that alternates the two white ones to the front and the two red ones to the back, as you can see. So that's kind of a cool one. That's about the only one that features anything rear facing out of this whole programming that I did. Um, so that's that's that was these buttons down here. That's what I was just showing you. Sorry, focus. That's what I was showing you. Um, so then I have the slide switch. Obviously, first position is just another front facing flash pattern. Inside three and the outside two. Again, pretty pretty bright. You're not gonna really lose that. It's kind of a cool one. Uh, second position oscillates most of the pods and rotates the outer two for full rotation. So and just trying to get each one of these in line so you can kind of see what it would be like. And what's cool about all of these pods being smart pods is if you see the center pod here, my finger's dead center. It's rotating dead center back and forth. And if you move to the outside, this one rotates a little to the outside. And then this one rotates almost completely to the outside. And then replicates that on the other side going that way. So you essentially have 180 full degrees of oscillation just out of those five pods. Um, and because they're smart pods, they know where to go every time. So that's kind of kind of a cool feature. Uh, another one of the many cool features of the the smart pods. Um, so that's position two. Position three automatically kicks in the siren. I, I don't have a speaker, but you'll you'll hear it on the power supply. So you can hear that. And that basically gets everything spinning with the exception of that center oscillator. Again, this would be an Opticom for the actual Vegas bars. Um, and then it just gets these spinning. So these are spinning at 175, 125, and 90. So it's it progressively slower the farther outside of the bar you move. This is kind of a. It's not really randomized. There is a pattern, but it's kind of hard to see it. But I I kind of like it randomized. The crazier the better. If you're rolling code three, you want to get as much attention as you can. So there's that. Um, obviously, you have the other sounds. You have. Yelp, um, and then what they call priority, which is hyper Yelp. You also have an air horn. Another thing that's cool about this co controller is that you can control multiple functions. So this button here that says man or manual, which would also be the horn ring. So if this was in a vehicle and you press the horn, it would switch it. It automatically switches the siren to hyper yelp and also increases the flash pattern um, so they all start doing a center out pattern at a at the 175 I think or maybe 125 so, so again just kind of increases the the um, the speed to make it more noticeable and then you hit the manual back and they go back to the pattern they were doing and back to the well, and of course everything can be overridden, so if I hit the takedowns, the takedowns will stop and they'll go face forward while everything is go everything else is going on. And that, that's true in any of these positions. Some of them don't make as much doesn't make as much sense, like uh, this first one, the flash pattern. I'm sorry, the center out kind of lose, lose it there, but 
still kind of cool. So yeah, so there's my vision. I'm pretty, pretty excited about it. Um, I've had it for quite a while, and now I can finally use it because I found the controller here. So yeah, there it is. Any questions, comments, concerns, um, let me know. I will try to answer them. Uh, I think I may post another video because I have a question I want to post to you guys about my uh, LP6000, my Code 3. So that'll be a second video. But anyways, there's my vision. Thanks for watching.